In this Curling I.O. tutorial, we're going to show you what it looks like to register as a member. So I have clicked a link on the club's website that says click here to register online, or maybe I clicked a link in an email blast that was sent to me, and I've come to the leagues page for the club. So here's a list of the, of the club's leagues, and I can search here. So let's say I'm interested in the Monday Night Men's. So I can search on Monday, find the Monday Night Men's. I can click in here to see some of the details, the price, what it is with tax, when it starts, any kind of description that's been added, and then I can add it to my cart. Now the first thing it's going to ask me is to sign up or log in to continue with my purchase. So I can either click here to do that, or I can click here to do that. And then it takes me to the login page. You have two options on the login page. One is to send a login link. So all you need to do is put in your email address and we're going to send you an email immediately that contains a link you can click to, that will log you in automatically. And the other option is to log in with Gmail if you have a Gmail account, then that's probably even easier. Um, it doesn't matter if this is the first time you've been to a Curling IO site or if you're a returning user. Uh, it's the exact same process and we will automatically create an account for you if it's your first time here. So I'm going to say Curling IO uh, demo at testup.gmail.com and I'm going to send myself a login link. So at this point I should receive a login link any second and there it is. And now I can either uh, click on the link in the email or I could copy the token that's in the email and paste it here and log in that way. It's simpler to just click the link. So I'm going to do that. And so now I'm logged in to the system. And now you'll also notice I have an account drop down up here in the top right and it shows the email address I'm logged in as. So now it's asking me to click on the information required links to continue. There's only one information required link here for the Monday Night Men's League. Um, notice that I can't click the complete purchase. This is disabled until you filled out all the required information. So I need to click on this. And then the first thing it's going to do is ask me to create a curler profile. Now, if I've used a curling IO system at another club or for a provincial or national event previously, and I already have curler profiles, or I used this system last year, last season at the club, um, then I'll be able to select one of those existing curler profiles so I won't have to keep rekeying my information all the time. Um, but because this is a new account and I don't have a curler profile yet, I need to fill one in. So I'm going to make up a fictional curler. I'm going to say he was born in 1960. Um, worth noting here that any email addresses you put in here for your primary or secondary email, you can actually share your profile with another account. Um, so I logged in with a Curling IO demo email, but I'm putting homer at simpson.com in here. So that means if someone logs in with this email address once I've created this profile, then they will also be able to see and register for events with this with this profile. So it's a way of sharing your profile. So let's say I have a work and a home email address and I might log in as either of them, then I would put those in here for my primary and secondary. Or if I was creating a profile for my spouse or one of my kids, then I would I could put their email addresses in here if they had one. And then they would also be able to see their profile and not have to rekey information in if they wanted to register for something themselves. Okay, so I've created my curler profile. The next thing that comes up is the waiver. So not all clubs will be requiring a waiver. So clubs can turn this on or off. Um, this club is. And also the waiver may differ between different clubs as they can customize it or completely replace it with their own waivers. This is the default waiver that comes from the Curling Canada's Business of Curling program. And this is for the overage majority. So it looked at my date of birth and the province to determine whether or not I was over or under age majority. And the waiver will vary slightly, depending on which. So I need to type in I agree to continue. And then I will submit that. 
And so now I've got my curler profile created. It's assigned to the event, but now the event itself, the Monday Night Men's League, is asking for additional information. So it wants a team name. So if I try to continue without filling that in, it'll warn me that I have to fill it in. So I'm going to put in Team Simpson. And then for my position, this is optional because there's no asterisk next to it. So I don't actually have to fill this in. So if I don't know what my position is, that's fine. Um, one other thing down here, there's a locker add-on and I can check this box in order to purchase a locker. I can't uncheck either of these fees, but if I have already paid these fees with this curler profile that I've assigned, then I won't be charged these fees again this season. Okay, But I am going to add a locker, and so then I save and continue. And now I've got my Monday Night Men's. I have all my information filled in. I see what my totals are with tax. I've also got the any fees that I haven't paid yet this season are added automatically and attached to Homer. And then there's my locker, which I added on as well. And so at this point, I can either make a credit card payment or debit card, if your debit card has a Visa or MasterCard co-branding on it. Um, or I can make a cash or check payment. Now again, these are configurable at the club, so one club might not be um, accepting credit or debit, um, or they might not be accepting cash or check. So I'm going to go ahead and select cash check. But then I come back maybe next week, and I wanted to pick up two, two other leagues that I wanted to play in. So let's say the Thursday Night Men's, and we'll also join the Sunday Night Social. Okay. So I've added both of these leagues to my cart so I can purchase more than one league at a time. And I'm going to, because it doesn't know, I, it doesn't know that I'm actually purchasing these for Homer. I could be purchasing it for another family member, for example. Um, but so when I select information required, I can either select Homer here, um, my only curler profile, or I could create a new curler profile here if I wanted. But I'm just going to select Homer and I'm going to put in Team Simpson again. And I've already got a locker, so I don't need that. And I'm going to select Homer for this one. And again, this one is asking for team name, so I'm going to put my team name in again. And so now you'll notice that I didn't get a Curling Canada or a Curling Ontario fee added. So your province may or may not, or state may or may not have Curling Canada and Curling Ontario fees. They may have different fees. Your club could also have their own membership fees that would be automatically added. Um, but you would you would never have to pay them more more than once per season, so it would keep track that Homer has already paid these. Another thing that we want to note here is that I have two discounts being applied. So Thursday Night Men's, as my second league, is getting a 20% discount, so it's getting $40 off. And my Sunday Night Social here, as my third league, is getting a 50% discount. Now this is just an example of how discounts could be set up at the club. So in this case, there's a two league and a three plus league discount being applied. Um, not all clubs may necessarily do that. Um, and there could be different discounts as well. You can have like an age-based discount. So like a seniors or a juniors discount, you could have early bird discounts, all sorts of different options there. So you might see something different or you might not see any discounts at your club. And so now I can make a purchase, but I actually wanted to purchase a league for Marge as well. Um, so she wants to play in the Tuesday night open, so I'm going to add that to my cart. And so now I've got another item in my cart. I can't complete my purchase yet because I have information required here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. This time I don't want to use Homer. Instead I want to create a curler profile for March. And so by putting her email address in here, if she logs in with Marge at Simpson.com, she will be able to see her own profile. Okay, and now I'm presented with a waiver again, even though I've already agreed to one with Homer. You only have to agree to one per cur once per curler per season, but because Marge is a different curler, I will have to agree the waiver on her behalf or assuming she's sitting here with me while I'm doing it. 
So I'm going to type I agree. And then I'm going to type Team Simpson. And I'm actually going to pick that I'm third. And she doesn't need a locker, so I'm not going to buy one for her. And so, so what you'll notice is, so now, now Marge has signed up, and she's paying a Curling Canada fee and Curling Ontario fee that are associated to her because she hasn't actually paid them yet, whereas Homer has already, so he's not being charged those again because we already know that. Um, also, uh, Marge is not receiving a discount because this is her first league. This isn't her second or third, even though Homer's purchased three leagues. They're curler specific. So I'm good to go. I'm going to complete my purchase and then point out a couple other things. Um, so every time I make a purchase, I'm going to receive an email and uh, with with a, that details my order. Um, but I, if I don't have that email or if it was sent to a different email address, then I can always come back here, like on a registration night at a club, then I can always come into my account and review my orders here. So there's the two orders that I made, so I can take a look at this one, and I can even make changes. So I actually meant to say Team Simpsons instead of Team Simpson, and, um, and make changes like that. And so this is up here in, in your account dropdown under orders. And so I can click on this one, and again, I can tweak that if I want. And here as well. And I'll also do it for March. Okay. Um, another thing we have here is a My League section. So these, this will display only the leagues that you've registered on this account. So any curler on this account. And you can click into one of these leagues. And depending on what the club has enabled, you might be able to see registrations. So who is registered for this league. Um, you might be able to see who is who signed up to spare in this league. Um, you may also see a schedule if they have published a draw schedule. And if they have, then you'll be able to click this Add to My Calendar. And if you add this to a Google Calendar, Google Calendar will refresh automatically every night. So if they make changes to the schedule, my calendar, if I subscribe to it, will reflect those changes as they occur. Um, you can also go and view the standings, again, if the club has this enabled, and then also see who's who's on what teams, um, again, if the club has enabled that. Okay. Um, another option, a couple other things that I have here is under the curlers section, you can get to it there, or you can get to it through curler profiles in the drop down. You'll see the list of your curlers. You can edit their information, so I can go and upload an image for Homer, for example. Or, or fix a typo, or maybe I put in an incorrect phone number. Um, I can also add optional information. So if I want to fill in more information about myself, I can. Um, and I can also select sparing, and I can say, again, only the leagues that are participating in this, which the club is responsible for configuring, um, I'll only see those leagues um, that I'm eligible for. So I won't see any women's leagues here, and I won't see any juniors leagues here for Homer. Um, and then I just check the things that I, the leagues that I'm interested in. So I want to sub for the, we'll say the Sunday night social and the Sunday seniors. And I'm going to, you don't have to show your contact information, but I'm going to opt to so people can get a hold of me. And I'm going to say I prefer the fourth position. And I'm going to say I can't make draws after 9 o'clock p.m. Okay. And so now if we go and look at any of those leagues that I said I was sparing for, um, so the Sunday Night Social was one of them, on the spare tabs here, you can see there's my name, there's any notes that I made, and it's showing my contact information because I opted to show it. But if I had opted not to, this would just say private and wouldn't show it. So that concludes our Curling I.O. demo for Curler Registration.